72. Tomorrow, sunshine in the morning, clouds in the afternoon, high 85. It's 80 degrees and partly cloudy. Humidity is 71%. Guns in the house? I don't know. You don't know whose gun that is? I don't know whose gun that is. Oh, really? That's not my gun. Let me ask you a question. How the fuck are you gonna tell me that, all right? You're upstairs sleeping I on the gun. You just came here to get laid. I just met this broad. I... Bizon. It's not my Bizon. gun. Bizon. Don't do what, that. What, let me, let me ask you a question. Don't... Let me ask you a question, huh? What the fuck? Did fairy godmother leave it under your pill instead of a quarter? Huh? You wanna tell me this fucking mud holds it? You got two nickels to rub together. Well, we get this piece of shit out of here. There was a guy in the room before me. Maybe he left it under the bed. Why don't you ask him? Oh, there's a guy. Here. That's right. There was a guy oh, there. You didn't tell me that. You didn't, you didn't ask me. You didn't that ask me. me. Oh, Marona, where did he go, the guy? I have no idea. He flew out the window. He took off. That's Let right. Let me tell you two things. Number one, the gun is yours. The gun is not mine. Number two, the gun is not mine. Going down. I'm telling you, the gun is mine. It's not my gun. I didn't do nothing. Come on, will you? Come on, will you? I'm telling you, I didn't do nothing. Come on, sweetie. Yeah, make yourself fun. Oh. What? You got anything on you? No. You got no guns? Nothing, no. No works? Nothing. Nothing. What's your name? Larry. Larry what? Smith. Larry Smith. Yeah, my name is Larry. I told you to go. I know your brother, John. He fucked Pocahontas, eh? You ever took a collar before? Uh, no. You never been busted? No, sir. No, sir. I told you to get up. A scumbag no. like you has never been arrested. No, sir. 
I got Larry Smith with a 45 automatic. He's never taken a car. You believe my man? Why don't you? Okay, he's an no. angel. Look at me. Are you Look sure? At... No. What's your name? Larry Smith. Larry Smith? Yeah. Bullshit. I locked you up. You're not Larry Smith. This is Georgie. Georgie McAllister. You George. got a sheet of Milo. I locked him up last year. Bye bye, motherfucker. Georgie Porgy. Welcome to the real world. Look, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Come on, will you? What are you. Come here. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. Look, before you guys say anything else, I gotta tell you something. Whatever you think I did, I didn't do it. I mean, you might as well do me the Miranda right now because I ain't gonna say anything anyhow without a lawyer. I mean, if I'm not being charged with something, I would very much like to go home. Relax. You ain't going anywhere, shithead. You know, we heard that you were in on it with your old man. <laughs> That's a laugh. What punk told you that? Hey, George, we're not laughing. Look, guys, guys, I got an alibi for yesterday. I was balling this beautiful chick. We were over at her house. Oh, yeah, really? Who was it? Your girlfriend? No, yours. I was fucking her while you were on duty. <clears throat> I can't take a joke. That's real smart, George. Look, I was with somebody, all right? That isn't what we heard. Yeah, well, what can I tell you? It's the truth. Not from where we stand. I don't give a fuck where you stand. Why don't you check it out, officer? So, George, where is he? My old man's in jail. He's been out for over four months. You know more than me. What are you asking me for? What, he hasn't contacted you? I told you. I thought he was in the joint. You know, I think you're full of shit, George. Yeah, well, you got a right to your opinion. Yeah, and I think you're a fucking scumbag. Let's take a look at your record. Oh, you take a look at my record. I've seen it. Yeah, right? How about assault? How about armed robbery? How about drugs? How about burglary? Grand theft auto? Smuggling? Extortion? Come I never, on. I never did time for most of those. You name it, you've done it. That is not true. I got standards. Hey. Roy, come on. Let's get that paperwork done and get out of here, man. Uh, wait a second, will you? Well, come on, man. I'm fucking tired. You look fuck tired. Take a look at this guy. His old man just ripped off half a million dollars. <laughs> what the fuck do I care? You don't care about a half a million dollars? I don't care about going home and sleeping. I'm fucking tired. Yeah. Well, I say we follow him and take us right to his old man. And then half a million dollars. Like I said. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about a... I'm talking about a half a million dollars, Ted. Half a million dollars. What's the word, Benny? Word is everyone's looking for you. I mean, everyone. Tell me something I don't know. You mind if I have a drink? No, go ahead. I also got a car waiting for you, Jack. Clean plates, police scanner, food, shotgun, blankets, all that shit. Now, I know you didn't ask for it right away, but... That's right. I didn't ask for it, did I? I'll tell you when I'm leaving. Yeah, well, things are getting a little out of control, Jack. Some of Earl's guys been asking me questions. Fuck Earl, okay? What kind of questions? I just don't know how much longer I could help you. You know, if word gets out that I seen you, I'm fucking dead. Well, that's easy. You ain't seen me, have you? Of course not. But 
but you gotta get out of here. I ain't leaving till I'm ready to leave. And I ain't leaving till I see Laura. Yeah. You told me that, Jack. You're fucking nuts, you know that? That's right, Benny. I am fucking nuts. And I want to see my sons, too. Mikey and George. Your sons? That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. What? Not. Jack, I know I owe you from the joint, but you're gonna get us both fucking killed. That's it, get out. Get out, you're making me nervous. I don't like that fucking energy. Please, Jack. I could have the car here in 20 minutes. said maybe. Start that shit. Maybe is maybe. Hey, Bobby. Ah, oh, Jesus, what a fucking day. Well, ain't over yet, Mike. Please. Just missed two guys who were looking for you. No kidding. Just missed him? Just missed him. No kidding. Do me a favor. Pull me one of those half and halves you're famous for. So I've been reading about your dad. Yeah, you and everybody else. Some shootout. I guess. You know, a lot of people are interested in that. Not just the cops. A lot of people like to get their hands on that money. Bobby, why are you telling me this? What, you're not interested? No, I'm not. I don't like to get mixed up in my family's affairs. People that hang around my father and brother have a tendency of going to jail. But Mike, I think a lot of money could be made from this thing. You know, I know a guy who'll just pay for any kind of information at all that you got. Bobby, what is this? Come on, every jerk off in town is trying to angle me in on this thing. Now I gotta come in here and hear this shit from you? You got a lot of fucking nerve, Mike. Now, come on, Bobby. Don't I cover your ass in this place? In the tab. Do I ever say one word about the tab? Right, well, I paid for this beer, so leave me alone. Leave you alone, Mr. Important Guy. Give me a fucking break. Yeah, I understand. I, I just came in here to try to drink a simple beer in peace. Drink your beer in peace. Thank you. Mike. What? Those guys are back. Oh. Really? Huh. How you doing, fellas? I was just about to call you. You were just about to call You've been us. ducking yeah. us all day, motherfucker. What the uh, fuck is wrong no, with no, you? No, I man? swear to God, I was going to call you, right, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> he told me you guys were looking for me, and, and here you are. What a surprise. Goddamn right we're looking for you. First, you don't return my phone calls, then your lines disconnect. What the fuck is up with yeah, that? Yeah, what the fuck is up with that? What do you mean? Did you call my old line? I, I am so sorry. Now, see, I mentioned that to your grandfather. I guess he forgot to tell you we were closing that branch. No, he didn't tell us that. That's a problem we're having working with the elderly. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your problems. All I know is you saw my friend here tombstone in a cemetery that doesn't exist. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? You better give us our fucking money back before I fuck you up, now, man. What do you mean it doesn't exist? We went out there. It's a vacant lot. That's impossible. Listen, motherfucker, it doesn't exist, capiche? Listen. Obviously, there's been a mistake. Only mistake is I ain't kicked your ass yet. Uh, just hold on. Why should we? Because I'm a businessman, all right? Now, I, I agree with you. This is totally unacceptable. Give us our fucking money back. I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm telling you, man. Excuse me. There's a lot more at stake here than just giving him back his money, all right? I've got a reputation at stake here, okay? I've got my pride. Now, if you think I'm gonna let some schmuck in the front office mess with that, then you're very mistaken. Now, I'm not only gonna get you your grandfather's money back, I'm gonna get him his money back and more. 
You got a quarter? Get the fuck out of here, man. Oh, oh. Uh, Bobby, can I use the house phone here, please? Fuck Bob, up. fuck up. Please. Thank you. Hey, yo, my man, you better not be lying, man. Yes, hi, Florence. Michael calling. Let me please speak with Bert. I don't give a damn if he said not to be disturbed. I need to speak with him right away. Yes, there's a client standing in front of me right now who's very unhappy. It seems there's been some kind of location screw up again. Yes, that's right. Yes, thank you. It's good you turn up the heat a little bit. You know, you put a fire under their ass, you get them working for you. Look, buddy, I just want my grandfather's money back. That's all I Yo, want. Stop playing, man. Get the motherfucking dope, bitch. Bert, hi, Michael here. Bert, how do you expect me to do my job with that son-in-law of yours in the front office? Yes, it's happened again, Bert, and now I've got the client in front of me and he's understandably very upset. Well, what do you want me to do about it? No, no, Bert, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do, all right? We're gonna give him his money back in full with interest. That's right, Bert, with interest, and I think we should offer him our best plots at cost. It's the least we can do. Look, I don't want plots. I don't want anything else. I just want our money back. <laughs> yes, he's upset, Bert, so I think we should cut him a check. Right away, I'm gonna send him over as we speak. No checks. Let me talk to him. Yeah, I'll, all right, Bert, if you got another call, you got another call. Let me talk to him. All right, then, I'll let you don't go. Hang up. Let me don't talk to him. Hang, let me talk to him. Don't fucking hang up, motherfucker. Hello? Hello? Oh, you fucked what? up. He, 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 he's not, he's he not stuck. He, 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 Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Fuck at it. Fuck a faggot. Rob that fuck. Fuck, bro. The fucking dollars. Fucking girl. Stop fucking crying. Jesus Christ. Did this guy get the shit kicked out of him or what? Ouch. Put your head back. Put your head back like that. All right? Thanks. Yeah. Your name's Michael, right? Yeah. You probably don't remember me. I'm Earl, an old friend of the family's. Do you remember me? I guess so. What the hell was that all about? Uh, that was actually a misunderstanding. Some misunderstanding? <laughs> yeah, some misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> How about your own man? Uh, we all been reading about him, you know. I don't know. I, uh, I haven't seen him. Really? I haven't talked to him, really. That's interesting. Uh, look, uh, if you see him, or if you talk to him, whatever, you know, do me a favor. Take my card. Give me a call, OK? What do you got to talk to him about? We got some business we got to work out. Business? What kind of business? Personal business. Personal business, huh? What kind of personal business? Hey, kid. Listen to me. That don't concern you, all right? Just kidding. Listen to me. No, he's not listening. Look, I'm serious here. There's money in this. Don't be a fuck-up. You're gonna get yourself in a lot of trouble if you don't do the right thing. You understand? Do you understand? Yeah, I do. That's good. Good. Take care of your health. <laughs>
And don't forget, call me. Okay? Yeah, here's a quarter. This is a suspicious motherfucker if I've ever seen one. Do you know who he is? Nah. What do you want to do? I don't know. Where the fuck are they going? Angel, I don't got all day, all right. man. Come on. Hey, come on. I, I, I got it right here. Things to I got it right here. Busy. There you go. That's the shit everybody's been talking about there, George. This is the shit everybody's been That's talking it. about? That's it. Take a good whiff of that. What are you talking about? This is, this is fucking oregano, man. George, fucking... oregano. Two hits of that, you're fucked. This is wood, man. This is like timber. Look, those are buds. That's not... This is not buds. George, Look come on, please, shit. all right? Hey, would George. I... Did I ever sell you anything so far? Yeah, George? man, last time you did. You remember? That, sh that was shit, that stuff you sold me. It's no, last crap. time that was the good shit. You know, man, you'd open a fucking lumber yard. This is like, this is what? like wood chips, this stuff. Look at this shit. Right. Fuck it. Let's do it. Right. But listen, Angel, you, uh... <coughs> you see my old man around? You heard from him or anything? No, nah, man, just what I heard in the news, you know? <coughs> Your old man is a crazy motherfucker. I didn't ask you what you thought of him. I asked you if you've seen him around. I don't want to get involved, man. You don't want to get involved? No. That violent fucking shit, that's not my scene, man. Well, that's too bad, because, you know, I was hoping that maybe, you know, I could find a piece around here. I was looking for a piece, you know? Firearm? Yeah. Yeah, I got guns. You got guns? What do you got? You're not into that violent shit, huh? I don't condone it. You don't condone it. I give you, uh, <coughs> I give you two for this, all right? No, I gotta take three. Come on, man. Two twenty-five. Two fifty. Two forty. Two forty. All right. Two forty. Yeah. All right. Okay, listen, I'm gonna have to pay you for this later on, all right? Oh, no, George, I don't think I can do that. Hi, Angel, come on, no, man. No, I've no, always no, been, come on, man. I've always been good for this. Please, George. Have I ever caused a problem with financial No, but you things? know I don't like to operate that way. Come on, man. George, come I can't on. do that. I don't feel right about it. What's the about that? Hey, George, move! Put that right, fucking gun down! Okay. Please, move! Whoa! 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 Whoa!
Oh, fuck. All right, motherfucker. Now you know we're done the fucking move for playing games. Where's your father? What? Come on, why would you forget about that? Shut up. You heard me. Where is he? I don't know. Don't lie to me, shithead. We'll put your ass right back in jail. I, I swear on my mother's grave. I don't know where he is. Come on, let's get out of Just here. Just shut up. Get the Shit! What the hell are you doing? Shut up. All right. Anyway. Roy. Roy. I got a very fucking bad feeling. What the fuck is wrong with you? Fucking fuck that shit! He just saw you kill the guy! He saw you waste him! You think he's gonna... God damn it! Bro, I'm sorry. I'm sure you have a present. I do, I swear to God. Come on, just, just let me in, will you? No way. Come on, it's me. It's Georgie boy. No. Don't you, don't you want to see a Georgie boy? No. What's going on? What? Huh? You got somebody in there? What's none of your business? What? What, are you, are you fucking them right now? Yeah, maybe I am. All right. Open up the fucking door before I break it down. Yeah, why don't you get out of here before I call the cops? All right, okay, okay, I'm not gonna break it down, all right? I won't, just, just let me in, will you? I just, I just wanna see you, come on. Forget it. Come on, come on, baby, I love you. Go away, George. Come on, will you? Come on, let me in, come on. Okay, that's it, that's it. The wedding is off. I don't see any present. Chester, you're obviously a very smart man. I look around me at this beautiful room, in this beautiful house, at your lovely wife, and I say to myself, I'm speaking with a man of intelligence. Thank you. Uh, what'd you say your name was again? Ted. Ted Savings. And the reason for your success, Chester, you've earned it. You've worked hard your entire life. You've made smart, sound investments. How do I know this? I, I know people. I know them instinctually. I I'm good at it. And if you don't mind me saying so, sir, you remind me of my father. You're someone I can look up to. Hmm. Bernice, did you really make these cookies yourself? I sure did. Would you mind giving me the recipe for them for my wife? I mean, they're out of this world. Sure, I'll be glad to. Now, as you kids are moving into your golden years, there's the reality, but comfort in knowing that things are going to be taken care of when that time comes. But as I told you, Ted, We've taken care of everything already. Chester, if you don't mind me saying, I think you deserve more than a Class B burial arrangement. I mean, matching headstones, adjoining plots, it's all very nice, but standard. Now, I know the company you're doing business with. They're good, honest people. It's just that, quite frankly, I think you folks deserve a whole lot more. Now, I want you both to take a look at these photos. These are some of our best headstones, some of our prime models. But what I really want you kids to see are mausoleums. They're nice, but we can't afford them. Chester, what did I say before? I'm here to help you. 
I want to help you. I like you. Please, let me help you. I, I want to. We've already paid for ours. Chester, don't worry. Now, I just happen to have a contract with me, and what I really like about it is it's Mom? simple. Mom? Oh, it's Tony. Tony? He's my son. Oh, really? Hey, Ma. Hey, Pop. Hi, son. <laughs> Tony, it's so nice to see you. Well, I was in the neighborhood. I figured I'd uh, stop by. This nice man here is... Um... Ted. Ted Savings. Hi. Who? Uh, Ted. Do I know you? I, I, I don't believe so, no. I, I'm a friend of... He's uh... just <laughs> shown us some fantastic deals on... Uh, excuse me, Bernice, where did you say the restroom was? I didn't say, but it's just down the hall. Thanks. I I'll be I'll be right back. What did you say your name was again? Ted. You must be Tony. You've got some wonderful folks here. Man. Hey, Pop, what's going on here? Yeah, who is it? Betty, Jack. You look great. Thank you. I gotta go, Jack. Yeah. It's a gray Chevy. It's in the alley. Man, yeah, thanks a lot, Benny. I mean, for everything. Sure, Jack. Jack. I'll see you a lot. I don't think so, Jack. I see you around. Do you think you're gonna put the flame in me? <laughs> no. anything? Okay. Yeah. Soda? Okay. So, this is where you've been staying, huh? Yeah, what a dump, huh? But it ain't permanent. Are you okay, Jack? Yeah. Because, you know, the papers and TV, everybody's saying something different. Hey, Laura, don't believe them. They'll say anything to make money, and most of it's crap, right? They said you were shot. No. no not really. I mean, I got a nick in this eye, but it's nothing. Does it hurt? Yeah. Only when I laugh. <laughs> What a smile. You know, I never thought I was going to see you again. Yeah, me neither. I wasn't even sure if I should come. I mean, I don't know how I fit into all this. I'm, you know, Benny says you shouldn't even be here. He says you've got to get out of here. He says you've got to get out no, tonight. No, I... I wasn't going to go anywhere until I saw you first. That's that. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> kind of scared, Jack. Hey, Laura. Everything's going to be OK. I'll just leave in the morning. Yeah, maybe. Maybe? 
Come on, everybody's looking for him. Definitely. I wouldn't mind finding him myself. Yeah? Why is that? Why is that? Yeah. Why do you think is that? What? What, do you think he's gonna give you some of that money or something? Is that what you think? I don't know, maybe. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I'm kidding you. I'm kidding you about a half a million dollars, all right? What are you doing? I gotta go. What do you mean you gotta go? I gotta go. I gotta go and uh, talk to my brother. But you just got here. Well, I'll come back later. When later? Later, later. What? You think you could just come in here whenever you feel like it? I said I'd come back, all right, Sally? No, you ain't coming back here later. Why not? Because I shouldn't have let you in here in the first place. Oh, come on, will you, Sally? Come on. No! What do you think? You could just come here and fuck me and just leave? Yeah. Bastard. Come on! Get out! What? Get out! All right, all right, I'll get out! And don't come back! Uh... And don't air me! Well, then shut up! No, you shut no, up! You shut you up, shut all right? Up. No, you shut and up! Get out! All right, all right, get out, all right? What street do we turn up on? Um, uh, it's... No, it's coming up. It's right around here, man. Which way, left or right? Uh, take it right. Which way, Ted? No, 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 take a left, take a left, take a left right here. You sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. Look, there he is! Down north east corner of this block. Go down, meet me in the front. I'll get him on the roof. All right.
You're under arrest. Fuck you! <laughs> what the fuck do you want from me, huh? Question. Bullshit. I bet you ain't even a cop. Stay down. I don't want to hit you again. <clears throat> I told you to stay down. Now what the fuck do you want from me? Leave me the fuck alone. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you. Oh, shit, you are a cop. You have the right to attack. Will you shut the fuck up? Breathe, don't move! Uh, Jesus Christ, don't hurt me. Take take my fucking wallet. It's in my back pocket. Just don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, please. Take my wallet, please. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ, Michael. Why don't you join the army or something? Maybe they could make a man out of you. God damn it, George. You scared the shit out of me. Yes, I did. What the fuck are you doing here? I just dropped by to say hello. What'd you do, escape from prison? Hey, I've been out six months now. I did my time, pal. Paid my debt to society. Actually, I got out on a technicality when I finally got the trial. You got anything to eat? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, Michael, you never got anything to eat. Uh, all right, George, what do you want this time? Nothing. I just dropped by to see you. Oh, yeah? What, I can't stop by to say hello to my little baby brother? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you, what, four times in the last five years. Every time it's the same thing. You just want to see your baby brother. When, in fact, you got something else on your mind. Hey, you were the most suspicious motherfucker I know. Did you know that? Oh, really? Yeah, really. Well, let me see if I remember correctly. The last time you stopped by for a visit, you asked me if you could borrow my car. But that's the last time I ever saw it. What the fuck happened to it? Oh, you know what happened? We had a torch it. Fat Frankie got hit. There was blood all over it. It was not a pretty sight, I will tell you. But hey, it was just one of those things, you know? It was one of those things. Yeah. You had to torture. Yeah. Unfucking believable. I'm sorry. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Michael, I was gonna get you another car, I swear to God. I got locked up. I have been indisposed, if you will. Give me a fucking break here, will you? Okay. Well, that being a typical George apology, I guess I'll take it. As far as you pay me back for my car, I guess I gotta wait online, right? Naturally. But hey, you're right up in the front. Listen, you wanna order some pizza or something? No, George, I don't want any pizza. Pizza? Chinese? What are you thinking about? <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> Jack McAllister's thinking about nothing. Thinking about everything. I'm also, um, hungry. Did you hear him growl? I am too. What have you got here? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Well, can you order it? Maybe, I don't have a phone here. Hmm. But I'll go get you some. Oh, yeah? Yeah, anything you want. Okay, what are you going to get? Chinese. Okay. Chukanese. <laughs> okay. Jack? You want to go with me? Jack. Laura! <laughs> Laura! Fuck up! Fuck you! Why? Pull it out, you <laughs> son of a bitch! Fuck! So, Michael, you heard from the old man? Uh-uh. Why? I was just wondering. You haven't wondered about him in ten years, George. Yeah, well, I'm wondering about him now. What's wrong with that? It's strange, that's all. It ain't strange. It is strange. All of a sudden, you want to know how he's doing? Yeah, so? You ever visit him in prison? Michael, I never visit anybody in prison. You know that. So? What's his sudden interest now? I was just curious. Wouldn't have anything to do with the robbery, would it? What robbery? Mm. So it's a coincidence. You talking about the old man, him being in all the papers? Oh, 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 that robbery. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I heard about that robbery. Yeah, and, you know, it got me thinking that, you know, maybe I should see the old man again before they put him away. Makes sense. You know, because I've always had this feeling that, that something was missing in my life, you know, that, that, that a part of me was missing. Now, you're pulling my leg now, George. No, I'm telling you the truth. I know, now you're jerking me. No, I'm serious, I swear to God. Give me a fucking break. No, Michael, I want to get to know my father. What are you up to, George? I'm not up to anything. Look, you gonna tell me you've never been curious? That if uh, the old man had been around, things mightn't have been different? I mean, after Mom died, I just shut him out. I didn't want to, but I did. Now I want to see him again. I need to. Bullshit. You just want to get your hands on the money. Michael, I can't believe that you would think that. George, even if you found the old man, you think he's going to cut you in on his loot? Forget it. I, I'm going to keep telling you, Michael. It's not about the money. We don't give a fuck about him. You never did. OK, OK, you think what you want, all right? But I'm a couple years older than you. And I personally have some very warm, touching memories of the man. I miss him. 
You're something else, George. And you're really a piece of work. Come on, let's go get laid or something. Say you did find the old man, all right? I mean, after all these years, what would you even say to him? Well, maybe I'd start by saying, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> you got any money? You know what your problem is, Mikey? You have no faith in humanity. You have no faith in me. George, you would not recognize the old man if you saw him. Fuck you. I would recognize him. No, you would. I would recognize him. Ah! Oh. Get him off me! Get him off me! Jesus! Who the fuck is that? It's Dad! Dad, get out of here. Oh, Jesus. Dad, Dad, what happened? Michael. Is that really him? Who the fuck is he? Dad, 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 that's George. That's your son. Don't you recognize him? No. Oh, Christ, I'm gonna call the hospital. All right, just take it easy. Take it easy. Here. Here. There you go. There you go. Yeah, Dad, how's that? So, what happened, Dad? Was it old up? Who shot you? Earl, his men. They want my money. Money? What money? From the heist. I hardly got away, but they didn't get the money. Oh, thank God. You finally made it here. That's incredible. Dad, Dad, where did you hide the money? Michael? No, Dad, no, it's George. George? How come you never fucking visited me? I was in the joint a lot myself, Dad. I tried to, a lot of times. <laughs> you prick. You should have visited me. I know, Dad, I'm sorry, but, but we're all together now, a family. You're fucking nuts, I'm dying. I love you, Dad. I hear you're a punk. Oh, yeah? Who told you that? Did Michael tell you that? Huh? Mm. Well, he was just kidding. All right, Dad, Dad, just, just tell me exactly where'd you hide the money. The locker. The locker where? Brooklyn. Okay, where? Um, Stillwell Avenue storage. Yeah, but, but which locker? Which locker? What's the number? The next to. Yeah, yeah. Water. The water next to the water? What water? I need some fucking water, for Christ's sake. Just tell me, Dad, which locker number? Get me some goddamn fucking water! <laughs> all right, all right. I'll get you some water. Just hold on. Yes. Palace, apartment two. Please hurry. Okay. What are you doing? You want some water? They're all there. Just hang in there. What is this? Dad? Shit! What happened? What happened? Is he dead? I don't think so. Is he, is he gonna die? I, I don't know. Oh, Jesus, this is awful. Yeah, this is bad. Well, Michael, Michael, did, did he say anything? What do you mean? Well, like, like any last words. Uh, I don't know, a few. Like what? I, I, nothing, really. Michael, what the fuck did he say? Dying stuff, I don't remember. Why, what did he say to you? Nothing, he just wanted some water. All right. I'm out of here. Yeah, okay, all right, I'll take care, I'll take care of this. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Here? Down at Bobby's. Okay. Sorry. Dad. Dad, just hold on. I can't. I need to talk to you. All right, just, just take it easy. There's something I need to tell you. All right, you, you save your strength now, Bob. You were a kid. I wanted to make it up to you. I, I love. That's bullshit. I'm an asshole, Michael. I love you, but I love myself more. All right, all right. Tell me later, Dad. Just, just hold on. Yeah. What's this? It's you and your brother. What, 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 what is it? What does it go to? What does it look like? It's a key. It fits a fucking lock. I know, but where? Dad?
Bob, you see, you see my brother Mike? He's in the back. So what's the story? Where'd you come from? How is he? George, where'd you sleep? Michael, how is he? How's Dad? He's dead. No. Yeah, he died a couple minutes after you left last night. This is bad. This is very bad. Yeah. It, you know, it was strange. Near the end, he seemed almost... Did he wake up or anything? For about a minute. Did he say anything? Well, what did he say, Michael? He said he was sorry. Sorry? Yeah. You know, I guess for not being much of a father to us or something. Sorry. Oh, that's good. That's, that's rich. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Well, did he say anything else? No, he didn't. Why do you keep asking me that? Asking you what? If he said anything. You keep asking me, did he say anything? Do I, really? Yeah, continuously, since last night. Huh. I didn't notice. Strange. Yeah, it would be strange, George, if it was someone other than you. What are you up to? Nothing. You think he told me, don't you? Told you what? Where it's hidden. Where what is hidden? The money. Did he? No. What I want to know is what he told you. And last night, I was on the phone. He was talking to you about something. What was it? He told you, didn't he? Yeah, he told you. But he didn't tell you everything, because otherwise you wouldn't be here trying to figure out what I know. George, 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 get, your, get, get, your, is, get, your, get your hands off me, George. Let go of me. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry, all right? All right. I'm a, I'm, I'm a little tense. I haven't eaten, all right? Okay. Okay. So, all right, I'm sorry. Now, obviously, we both know something here. Okay, now, the only way we're gonna make this work is if we cut some kind of deal, right? I, I, I don't like deals. I don't know from deals. I don't know. All right, what do you got in mind? A partnership. We split the money 50-50. I tell you what I know, you tell me what you know. 50-50? Right. I tell you what I know, and, and you tell me what you know. Exactly. So, what did he tell you? He's, wait a minute, wait, 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 hold on. How come I have to go first? Someone's got to go first, George. Yeah, but how come it's got to be me? Because if you were me, would you trust you? No, I guess not, no. Okay, all right, okay. He, he told me where it is. Where? Where, where? where is it? Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. How, what did he tell you? He, he gave me a number. He gave you a number? What number? A, a locker number. A locker number? What's, what's the number? What am I, an idiot? I'm not gonna tell you the number. You didn't tell me where it is. Michael, tell me the number. Why should I? Because I'm your big brother. I need the money. What? And, and I don't? Hey, George. Don't touch me. I told you what I Keep do. your hands to yourself. Remember what happened? You're not gonna find Remember out anything this way. Break it out. I'm gonna do it to you again. George, I'm gonna do it. Touch me. Give me the number. Jerk off. Give me the number. All I want is the number, Michael. Just give me the number. Don't even think. Don't even smack that. I don't think I'll defend myself. Give me the number. 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 He started. I don't give a fuck who started it. Michael, did I tell you to call me? Yeah, you did. My phone didn't ring. That's because I didn't get a chance to call you. Maybe you're a little too busy, huh? No. no I'm not saying I was too busy. Well, I told you to call me. No, you, you said to call you if I talked to my father. Now, I didn't talk to him. Oh, hey, 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 hey. What, what, what's going on here, Michael? Who the fuck are these guys, huh? He says he's a friend of Dad's. You a friend of my old man's? My old man didn't have no friends. Who the fuck are you? You must be George. I know who I am. I asked you, who the fuck are you? I'm Earl. Earl? Right, what the hell is that all about? Nice to meet you, Earl. How do you do? I don't know. I do good, George. I was wondering. 
You think maybe the three of us could go somewhere and have a little chat? It won't take too long. Well, you know, that's a very nice suggestion, Earl, but my brother and I, we are in the middle of a little bit of a family discussion here, and we have to complete it, so at this time, we cannot come with you. Um, I really think that you should come with me. <laughs> I don't think you understand me, Earl. I'm telling you that we cannot come with you at this time. Not, not now. Maybe you don't understand. Let me convince you. Like I said, Earl, we are not coming with you. No fucking way. I got a bad feeling about this, man. I mean, we're in a fucking warehouse here. We're, we're locked in a warehouse. Just relax, will you, Michael? Relax, relax. That's easy for you to say, George. You're a hardened criminal, OK? You're used to being locked in small places. Michael, will you do me a favor? Get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of myself? Get a hold of myself? Excuse me, I I'm scared shitless, all right? I I've got an aversion to being kidnapped. Well, I guess it runs in the family. I don't like it either. You don't like it either? You well, know, it's all your fault. My fault? Why is it my fault? I it's always been your fault. Michael, if I remember correctly, it was me who took care of you and protected you when we were growing up. George, what are you talking about? Mom died, Dad went to jail, you took off. Yeah, but not right away. Yeah, but soon enough. It's always been the same thing. You, Dad, you, and your fucking guns. What are you talking about, me and my fucking guns? You, and, and all the violence shit. That's why I'm here. I, I, I've spent one day with you, and, and look what happens to me. Hey, let me tell you something. I may pull the occasional stick up, all right? But what you do is genuinely disgusting. Ripping off old people, pretending you're their friend. I mean, how could you do shit like that? OK, I admit it. It's not the best line of work, but it pays the bills. And I don't shoot people. Hey, Michael, I don't shoot people either. If they're stupid enough to try something with a gun sticking in their face, then hey, that's not my fault. That's their fault. That, that is the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. That, that's unbelievable. Michael, what are we, what are we arguing for? There's $500,000 out there with our name on it. It belongs to us. We should be thinking in terms of escape, all right? Yeah. I mean, we should be working together on this thing. That's right. OK? OK. Because I'm telling you, these are some, some very bad people out there. Yeah. And they'll do some very bad things to us. All right, George. So we're going to work together, right? Yeah, whatever it takes. Because I know it's what Dad would have wanted. That's right. All right. Michael. Michael. If you had done what I told you, you wouldn't be sitting there right now. I told you you were going to get in a lot of trouble, didn't I? Yes, yes, you did, Earl. You most certainly did. Well, I think we should cut all the bullshit, don't you? Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, well, I mean, you're going to tell us anyhow. I was going to tell you. I I'm going to tell you anything you want to know, Earl. Good. That's good. I, I want to cooperate. You want to cooperate? That's great. Where's the money? W what money? What money? Michael, I know your father was at your house last night with a bullet in his belly. What did he tell you? Well, now, actually, Earl, I, I wasn't at home last night. George was. Thank you, Michael. George was. So what's the answer? The answer? Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> the answer is fuck you. That's <laughs> funny. Where is it, George? 
Up your mother's ass. George, you're not being very nice. Fuck you. If you haven't figured it out, I'm not telling. Unzip his fly and cut his dick off. Coney Island, storage locker near Stillwell Avenue. See? That wasn't so difficult. Now you're being nice. What's the locker number? He didn't tell me. But he told Michael. Well, Michael, it's your turn again. Where is it? He's lying. I don't know where it is. Might as well tell him, Michael. I, I have no idea what my brother is talking about. Michael. Earl, I swear to God, I don't know nothing. Unzip his fly. With pleasure. Uh, what, uh, 692? What makes me think that you're not telling me the truth? Earl, I'm, I, I'm not the liar here, Earl. He is. Open his pants. Oh, holy shit! It's not worth it, Michael. You might as well just tell uh, him I the am, truth. I am, I am. It's uh, 532. Take his pants uh, down. Uh, 1131. It's 965. It's 965 fucking for crying out loud. Hold it right there. Don't fucking move. Who the fuck are you guys? The police. Drop your fucking guns. The cops? Oh, Jesus, thank God. These men, they're trying to kidnap us. You guys are cops? You ain't cops. The fuck do you think this is, asshole? Anybody can get one of those. You believe this guy? All right. Drop your fucking guns now. We ain't dropping our guns. I own this building, pal. It's private fucking property. And if you're cops, what do you want? Oh, Roy, they're not dropping their fucking guns. I can see that, you idiot. I said, what do you want? These two. They're under arrest. Under arrest? For what? what? What did we do? Yeah. Why are they under arrest? I don't have to answer to you. You know? Well, I think you do! Being shot at, right? That, that, that's, that's a plus. George! 
George! George! Jo Michael, what are you doing? He, he was shooting. What does it look like I'm doing? Help me up. Come on. All right, all right. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on. I can't. Pull yourself up. I can't do it. Come on, Michael. George, I can't do it. God damn it, if you keep saying that, I'm going to drop you now. Pull yourself up. Come on. Come on. You got it. Come on. A little more. A little more. <sighs> Michael, I think you better tell me where the money is. What? Well, in case you fall, where's the money? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. What's the locker number? George, can it wait? No, I don't think that's a very good idea, Michael. <sighs> I don't know the number. Michael. Oh, but I've got, I've got the key. I got it on me. You got it on you? Yes, I got it on me. Pull me up. OK. All right. All right. Wait, wait, hold, 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 hold. What? I just heard something. You hear something? No, Jesus Christ, George, pull me up. I'll, I'll be right back. George. Let go, let go. <laughs> Kill you, you bastard! Help, George! George! Help! Help, George, you bastard! Holy shit! Hi! No! No! Ah! Make it. Don't give up, you faggot. Don't call me that. Drop me. No, I wasn't. If I didn't tell you where the money was, you would have. Don't be ridiculous. All right, all right. I can see you're a little bit upset. Let me explain. No, I'm not a little upset, George. I'm a lot upset. Well, I, I, I can understand that, but, but you got to see it from my point of view. What if you had fallen? I mean, aside from you dying, I'd never know where the money was. That would be a terrible tragedy. I mean, think about it. All that money gone to waste? I mean, that's, that's... It's a terrible thought. You were gonna fucking drop me. No, I wasn't. I didn't. Did I drop you? I didn't drop you. Did I? I saved your life. Right? Right. OK. All right, so now, now we don't have any secrets between us. We got like an equal partnership. You know my half of the secret, and I know your half. Right? Right. I mean, I mean it's not like I didn't trust you. OK. OK. All right, so, Michael. So, uh, let me see it. Why? Why? I just, you know, I just want to see the key. I'm just a little curious. You're a little curious? Yeah, come on, let me just have, a, like, a little look-see. Where is it? No, George, I know your idea of a partnership. It's an ice pick in the back of the neck. Let me see it. Where oh. is it? Where's the key? George. Where's the key? Get huh? off me. Tell me. Get your Where's the key? Me. You're what? never going to find it that way. What's George. this? What's this? Huh? What's... Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Give it back. Give it back? You know I'm gonna give it back? I'll give it back when I got all the money. That's when I'm giving this back. George, watch out uh, behind you. Look out! Uh, uh, hold it, Roy! Uh, get him! Go get him! Uh, I got him, Roy! Uh, 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 Where the fuck is the... I don't know! Oh, I'm sorry. 
That's the way Dad would have wanted it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Whatever he wanted, I want. You know. Okay. So we got a deal. We got a deal. Where? Where? How are we gonna find this locker? This is it. All that money. It's a shit. Oh, Christ. George, we made it. We fucking made it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> oh, I've never seen so much money in my life. Look at this fucking dog. Oh, my God. Dad's gonna fucking be. What are you doing? I'm sorry. We had a deal. I know, Michael, but no matter how I look at it or how, how I try and figure it out, I'd always come up with less than the whole thing if I gave you some. You're a prick. You're right. I was never very good at sharing. My brother. I know. But I can't help it. It's just my way. George.
George. Harold. What do you got in the bag? George. 